in this video. Our technical analysis for the Bitcoin price is playing out exactly as predicted. But guys, take a look at this. We are not yet seeing any buy volume. And should we be worried about this? Well, stay tuned to know more. So hi guys and welcome back to another Gab's cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out the technical analysis like this. And take note guys, we also have a free Gab's Crypto 101 playlist if let's say you want to learn trading crypto for free. If you want to learn how to make money within the crypto market, you can actually check out this playlist that you can find on YouTube by typing in Gab's Crypto 101 on our YouTube search bar. You can search this on uh, Google or you can actually find this too in the description down below. But anyway, let's now dive into this video and let's give you a quick recap of our previous analysis. So the our previous analysis, what we were monitoring was this 50 moving average in the 4 hour time frame resistance kasi di ba sabi natin if wala tayong makita by volume then we are more likely going to see a movement to the downside kasi typically if we are seeing a breakout dito sa ating ano itong yellow line na yan yung yellow trend na yan if nakita tayong breakout tapos wala by volume that is more likely going to lead into a fake out similar to what we have seen sa mga previous movements ay no breakout niya sa ating yellow line sa yellow trend wala by volume we went to the downside same goes here and right now, we are at that similar trend still with the Bitcoin price. So as you can see, we tried breaking out. Well, I'm by volume. We moved to the downside. And on top of that, if you're going to zoom in then dito sa ating early time frame, you can see na nag-form din pala tayo kagabi ng opportunity na sayang di natin na take advantage. Kasi look at this. Kagabi, nag-form din ng panibagong swing tradable opportunity, which is itong rising wedge in the early time frame. Nakita ko lang siya kanina actually na nag-play out na and sayang din natin siya na play out but yeah, tip, traditionally these movements are traditionally a bearish pattern to the downside so it's usually placed na I know wherein the price was increasing at the same time nagiging tight yung kanyang price action and it usually breaks to the downside with a target of the bottom of the wedge but sadly din natin siya na trade kasi ngayon lang natin siya nakita but right now what is next for the bitcoin price action so as you can see diba in the 4 hour time frame we are also seeing a massive clear resistance around the 2000 or 21195 or 21200 US dollars and right now that is a movement na nakikita natin na nag-play out kasi look at that we are seeing that resistance and kasi dun tayo mayroong previous resistance but right now we are also seeing a clear support around the 19877 or 19965 and for the time being i think ang next move na kailangan natin i-expect is for us to form a bullish divergence because in this case if we are going to form a bullish divergence wherein the price is declining at the same time rsi is increasing that could indicate or potentially say our next move for the bitcoin price action so in the in the early time frame wala tayong nakikita bullish divergence but for now yun yung ating aabangan na next move is for us to form a bullish divergence and hopefully we want to see this in the early time frame for us to see that play out but as you can see in the current time frame both in the 15 minute early wala pa tayong nakikita ng bullish divergence so for now wala pa tayong swing trade double opportunity not unless magkaroon tayo ng panibagong pattern na magform so for the time being we are going to wait out for the next indicators to form we are going to wait out for the next pattern to form kasi in that case if we are going to see that next pattern forming then of course we are going to swing trade that latest opportunity so, but right now as you can see kakaplay out lang ng latest ano latest pattern which is na hindi natin na trade but yeah, let's be patient. And if ever na meron tayong panibagong swing trade double opportunity, of course, ina-notify ko kayo gagad sa Telegram at as well as sa Facebook and Discord group. So as much as possible, follow our social media sites in the description down below if you don't want to miss our emergency signal. But yeah, for now, we are just going to wait this one out and hopefully we can swing trade the next opportunity that we can see within the crypto market. So right now, wala tayong naka-open na trade for the short term. In this case, Kasi pwede mangyari dyan is mag-continue tong movement to the downside. And in that case, if mag-continue yan, then of course, it's more likely na mag-decline yung ating RSI. At the same time, if let's say nag-start siya mag-form na increasing RSI, then dun tayo mag-expect ng ating next swing table opportunity. Potential na ano, potential na magkaroon siya ng bullish divergence. So that is what we are going to wait out dito sa ating Bitcoin price action. It's for us to form a bullish divergence. 
But anyway, guys, if you want to trade Bitcoin with the lowest fees possible, one of the best places to trade that is with Bybit. And as you can see, meron tayong ongoing a $3,000 deposit blast off with Bybit. And if you want to claim this bonus, you can actually find this, guys, in the description down below. And by the way, kahapon din, in-announce ko din yung ating copy trading account sa Bybit. So if you want to join our copy trade account, you can actually type in bybitglobal.com slash copy trade or ilalagay ko yung link sa description down below. And then, check out our previous video which is yung announcing my Bybit copy trade account if you want to find if you want to find yung ating mga links regarding sa ano on how to open an account dito sa Bybit. As you can see, nakalagay na yung mga kailangan nyo malaman sa description ng video na yan as well as yung ano, I know, how to deposit as well as how to trade, how to find a copy trader, and then as well as yung copy trading account. Lahat yun binanggit ko kahapon sa video kahapon. So, if you do, if you want to join or take part with the copy trade account dito sa ating Bybit account, of course, just find this video. Or siguro itatry ko to i-paste itong lahat ng links ito sa description down below para makita nyo din siya if ever na gusto nyo sumali sa ano, copy trade kay Bybit. And now, let's now talk about the altcoin market kasi look at this. Bitcoin dominance is declining so that is indicating na right now, altcoin market is actually looking good. And it's actually quite well if you're going to ask me Kasi last week, we were expecting na maghihirap yung mga altcoin market if let's say, lalo siya umakyat. But ang nangyayari is, we saw a rejection dito sa ating resistance kay Bitcoin dominance. So that is indicating na right now, altcoin market is actually moving healthy right now. So in that case, it's actually pretty good right now to trade with the altcoin market. And it's actually a good time to invest within the altcoin market for the midterm to short term. Kasi look at this, we are just actually moving sideways dito sa ating Bitcoin dominance. So that is actually a good thing Now we are not seeing a decline dito sa ano, sa ating altcoin market. So as much as possible, if we want altcoins to remain healthy, dominance must decline in the Bitcoin dominance chart. Kasi typically, whenever the dominance is declining, that would indicate na altcoins are going to perform better kasi people are moving their money from Bitcoin to altcoins. We are going to dive in quickly with Ethereum and give you a quick update with Ethereum. So looking at Ethereum, ito yung ating mga latest movement kay Ethereum. So as you can see, similar with Bitcoin, nag-form din siya actually ng rising wedge kahapon ito. Oh. Nakita natin to na meron siyang increasing price. So that is a traditional rising wedge and sayang din natin siya na-trade kasi yan, di natin siya nakita eh. It's more like na play out siya ng madaling araw na. And if you, if you were able to spot this, then congratulations if you were able to trade that. But yeah, that was also a good move. As you can see, we saw a movement up until the 1,070 US dollars. And I think this analysis will also be similar with the Bitcoin price action. I think what we have to wait out dito kay Ethereum is for us to form the bullish divergence. Then, na similar with what we've seen or what we have with, sim, na similar, na similar to what we were mentioning with the Bitcoin price action. So, right now, the next thing na kailangan natin monitor is for us to form a declining price. At the same time, an increasing RSI. Because in that case, if you're going to see that movement, then of course, that is a potential bullish divergence within the Ethereum price action. So right now, that is what I'm going to monitor with the Ethereum price action, similar lang kay Bitcoin. So for now, siguro patience lang and let's wait for this next indicator to form. But anyway, I'm going to update that for this video. If, if you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.